Hi, Evil fans. Welcome back to Tori Talks with Dr. S. I'm Tori. This is Dr. S. Today we'll be talking about Evil Season 4, Episode 10. It is called How to Survive a Storm. Okay. This episode was sad. Yeah. Um, something I thought was going to happen, it happened. And now I'm sad that I said it was going to happen. I didn't want it to happen, but I knew it would. Okay, we'll just go right to it. Okay. What do you think? Cheryl dying. Yeah. Oh, crazy Is Grandma she for Cheryl. sure dead? Crazy Grandma Cheryl flatlined. Mm. What if they brought her back? It's a good question, though. What if they brought her back? Because this is evil. <laughs> Who knows? What if they did? I think that... I think it's that. I think okay. she's gone. Um, it's too soon. I thought she would have, like, a big ending. You know? Yeah. yeah like, something more grand. I mean, she's been doing okay these last couple episodes, you know? She was working hard to get yeah. rid of um, Leland, yeah. and, you know, yeah. she spiked his juice, and um, yeah. she, she she was close. Yeah. She made the stock plummet. She did the best. She went out swinging, yeah, you know? Did. So, rest in peace, crazy Aww. Grandma Cheryl. Do I feel bad calling her that? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> All right. Uh Let's talk about, well, before she dies, she... So everybody's, like, panic buying, as you do. Mm -hmm. And that's when we see her in disguise, and she gives Kristen the stun guns yes. for her and the girls. Hey, why did it take me four seasons to realize that the girls' names all start with L? Oh. Lila, Lexis, Lynn, Laura. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I just oh. noticed that. that. I feel bad because, you know, you they've been there to, all along. Do you think it has to do with Leland? Oh, no! Oh, I didn't even put uh, that together! Yikes. Man, okay. Well, anyway, the girls go to investigate a little boy's voice that they hear coming through the vent in the neighbor's house. That seemed all too easy to get into that house. There's yeah. a demon in the shower, and turns out Dum Dum Leland lives there. Moves in next door. I'm so sick of him! That's so disgusting. <laughs> really over no, it. I know. I can't stand him. I know. So, anyway, um, David has a vision of this. Mm -hmm. And then, now he is basically given Leland permission to take over his body. That scene was so... But then oh, I... it just got me. Like, how close he was. Like, he could have made David kill himself. Yeah. I do not like this whole turn of events. This mm -hmm. power that mm -hmm. David has that Leland can take over. Yeah. So, and they only had him tied up for a little while. I feel like he has to always now be tied up. Yeah. Forever. Is it Leland can only access him when he's in his space and he has the candles around? Is that why that they... He has to go into the space? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know because it yeah, seemed like... It, it could be. That's where that music was blaring. So Leland had a little rough childhood, it appears. But we also find out that he was training to be a priest for 10 years. And that's why he knows so much about... The church and what they do. Well, so interesting. Like, the flashback to him being bullied. You know, okay, so what? You were bullied. I know bullying is very, very bad, but is that supposed to help us, like, feel for him? Nope. Because I don't. I do feel bad for people who are bullied. People. For sure. But Leland. this does not do anything to advance my understanding or sympathies for Leland. Don't feel bad no, for Leland. No, I'm more like, good. That's not terrible. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. Well, because it's Leland. He's terrible. He's the worst. He's the absolute And then I wonder worst. why he wanted to be a priest. Yeah. Why? For 10 years. And he couldn't do it? He wanted to feel accepted, be a part of something bigger. Oh, interesting. I don't know. I don't know. Why does anybody? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. So, what, uh, meanwhile, the storm is a ruin, and it's like Hurricane Lucy, and it's, it's Category 4, and then it's Category 5, and it's going to make landfall, and everything's going crazy. So, naturally, Sister Andrea's in the middle of it all. Of course. She's just hanging out outside, almost blown away, and then these ghosts and demons are doing a little drive-by scratching of her arms. She's so brave. She's so brave. But what are you doing? <laughs> right? Anyway. I thought she, I thought they killed her at first when she fell over, and I was like, no. Yeah. Did you notice when they were praying with her that Lexus was the only one that didn't pray? The only one of the girls that didn't oh. pray? We can't forget Lexus and her tail. She's got something in there. Okay. Something inside. Okay, what did you guys feel and you feel about when David was staring at Kristen sleeping in the bathtub? And then he said he wished he had two lives, one for God and one for her. And then she said, I wish I had two lives both for you. Yes, but that then, was very... Ben, what about me? Yeah, yeah, I totally... <laughs> That, that made me get a little distracted. Uh, what was that? Yeah. That totally made me get distracted. Like, what? wait, what are you guys saying? The, uh, right? I know. Like, how hard David has worked for priesthood, and then 
Andy's definitely still in the picture, just not geographically in the picture. So what are we doing? Because again, I thought that we like closed the the, the book on that, and now we're just slowly peeking back right. in. I, I still feel like it's never going to become anything. So I don't know if I'm mad at the flirtation, like like hinting at everything. Well, not really hinting, like explicitly going there. But but is this necessary? Yeah. I don't mind. Just it. let them be friends. I kind of like it. We get it. They have sexual chemistry. <laughs> it's hard not to with them, but still. Yeah. yeah. Where do we go from it here? It was odd, though. It was odd. I like how Ben's there to always provide the comedic <laughs> relief, break the tension. Yeah. And that he did. Uh, Dr. Kurt is in this episode because he's kind of just always in every episode for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, probably not the best place to ride out a storm with the windows all around you. So many you. windows. I know. No, no. But it's it's interesting that he popped up to help Cheryl. I thought he was, is he, is he with the DF? Does, is, okay. I thought that when he popped out but in But then Miller. the demon does come yes, there. So yes. that he, that was probably who Leland said, go, she's yes, there now. Yes, But. Yeah. It was odd though. Where'd he come from? Like, how does he know? Does she's he there? literally have three patients? Does he just have Ben, <gasps> Kristen, and Crazy Grandma Cheryl? Like, how is he just a, like on call for just them? He's available all the time. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not that I don't love seeing him because he's. I really yeah, like him, yeah. but they just kind of. I think they're just helping the actor. They're all friends now. The directors <laughs> are like, let's just throw you yeah, in the give mix. Him something for royalties. Yes. Okay. So we did get a little bit of satisfaction when um, Leland gets arrested. Mm-hmm. I don't think he'll be in there very long because no. he has his ways. But, you know, what What are you going to do with Timothy? Well, ask the biological mother. What are you going to do? What's she going to do? She's She's got to take him in. I think she's going to take him in. She's not going to let him go to foster care. Yeah, it was two seconds away from the, the girls running down. Oh, they would have been. Yeah, they would have totally not. Yeah, she couldn't do that. But then, you know what that means? The girls are probably going to tell her that they know. And how, yeah, so... I still don't know what story they were told. It still doesn't make we sense We still to technically me. don't. Yeah, but how could the girls keep that knowledge from her without wanting to find out more information? Like, what did Grandma Cheryl tell them? Yeah. Crazy. I don't know. But, you know, I think we only have four episodes left. Oh. Yeah. That's a sad story. Anyway, everybody, let us know what you thought and how much are you going to miss Crazy Grandma Cheryl? I'm kind of going to miss her. That's just because I love Christine Lottie. Anyway, let us know. Comment below, and we'll see you next week. Bye.